Does anger have a purpose? Before I started studying Qigong, I would have said no. My joyful nature didn't understand that the emotion of anger, just like the emotion of joy, serves a purpose. Hi, I'm Kristen. Welcome to the See Your Wellbeing channel. Welcome to nature. I am your energy wizard, inspiring, enabling you to sense, engage, and express more joy, maybe anger, <laughs> and energy in your life with Qigong. And today I have a practice with you, for you, um, around the emotion of anger. This emotion in Chinese medicine is related to the liver and the wood element. And this is a necessary emotion for action. Just like a seed penetrating the soil, this upward and outward energy serves a purpose. But in our society, unfortunately, sometimes it's misused and abused. Well, what Qigong helps us do is recognize the value of these emotions and allowing us to transform the negative emotion into effective action so that your well-being and others can be benefited with a practice like this. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. I've got a lot of a diverse array of emotionally related practices and just feel good practices for you. And you know what would feel even better is if you shared this practice with a friend in a positive way. Let's get started. So to begin, we are going to invite in some healthy chi or life force energy into our liver. And today I'm not going to be mirroring you at the beginning because I want to clear my liver just as much as you do. Your liver is on your right hand side. So brief, this is where your hands will be. My hands are going to be on my liver. <laughs> and here, go ahead and close your eyes if that feels comfortable to you. Allow your weight to shift back into your heels. A wider stance will help you feel a little more stable if you feel a little uneasy with your eyes closed. Simply open your eyes and take a soft gaze down towards the earth. And begin to take some nice deep breaths into your liver. Feel as you inhale, there's an invitation to create space around that beautiful organ that cleanses and clears your blood. And maybe even raise the corners of your lips and invite in a subtle smile, an inner smile. Inviting in the emotional balance of anger, which is kindness, and generosity. And if right now that doesn't feel comfortable for you, I've got a few things that will help you let go or offload some of that anger. So take another couple deep breaths. That may be all you need to offload that anger. But I've got a fun practice for you here. This particular movement is called expelling unhealthy chi. You're gonna be taking a stance that's a little bit wider than shoulder width apart to feel like you've got some stability into the earth. So a little wider than our traditional Qigong stance. And if you've never been here before, you're like, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Take a stance wider than shoulder width apart. And here, we're gonna float the arms up, soft wrists towards shoulder height, and then draw the hands back towards the shoulders. Press forward and draw back with your inhale, soft wrists, soft fingers. And here, press forward, sink down a little bit into the earth, tailbone releases. Your palms are open toward me. Not really extended fingers, but open and not really collapse, kind of halfway in there. And here we're gonna begin breathing in and out through the nose. And we're gonna intensify the breath 
to help us expel negative energy. You intensify to the degree that you want to. So inhale, in and out through the nose. Choose a pace that feels comfortable to you and a depth and intensity that will allow you to offload this anger. Toxic emotion. Begin to smooth it out and slow it down. The breath in and out through the nose. Next, inhale, draw the hands in, softening through the wrists, elbows soft, and release down, down, down to the earth. Pause for a moment. And although I didn't do a check-in with you at the beginning of our practice, sense and feel maybe a little bit of a transition in your energetic, your emotional energetic signature. you need a little more offloading we're gonna do that again <laughs> if one was enough go a little softer on this next time around you can still let go but just a little a little bit more of a, a lighter heart now here we go inhale float the arms up exhale you see my wrists are soft fingers are soft press forward draw back notice I'm squatting down a little bit giving a little mother earth Press forward, and here we go. In and out, breath as vigorous as you want through your nose. Inhale. <laughs> Begin to smooth it out, slowing it down. Gong or middle of the palm points are sparkling. <laughs> Feel some tingling there. So take a moment now to invite in some healing energy from the space around you. There's some available. Draw it in and release your hands down. Nice. Ah. Light. Now my happy-go-lucky nature is even more happy. <laughs> Let's work again with a little bit of the energetic um, gifts of nature to help us transform some of our negative energy. Now let's use the gift of water. So in the Chinese medicine uh, philosophy, it is water feeds wood. And now that we've offloaded some of that negative energy, we want to grow healthy energy, that feeling of abundance and creativity and kindness. So we're gonna interlace the fingers right here, right in front of us. Double hands hold up the sky. <laughs> so draw the hands up, spiraling towards your chest. Come up overhead and on to your, the balls of your feet. On to the balls of your feet. You don't have to walk backwards like me. So here this is raising the bubbling springs up through the balls of the feet, all the way up, nourishing the side body. Your liver meridian runs along the side body. Lower the heels down. And let's crescent over to our right, stretching out. Oh yeah. So we offloaded that negativity and now we've created some space and as you inhale, this new, healthy, vibrant energy moves in to allow you to, other side, penetrate the earth and grow new seeds of well-being. Oh yeah. Let's come back down, lower the hands. Let's do that a couple more times. Palms face up. So the spiraling, action, the spiraling action is the action of the wood element. 
All right, so we're going to inhale. The elements, action of nature. Yeah, reach up, up under the balls of your feet if that feels comfortable to you. Try not to hike the shoulders up too much. And release down, crescent over. Oh, yeah. And up, over to the other side. Oh, yeah. Back up. Lower down. One more time. Inhale, float up. Oh, yeah. Reach up onto the balls of the feet. Draw up that healing energy of water so that you can grow, grow, grow. Another two inches, maybe. And lower down. Crescent space. Oh, yeah. And then up and over, other side. Wonderful. Back up to center. Release down. Fingertips float down to the side. I'm going to keep this practice relatively short today. We're going to finish with a very brief flow called pulling up the earth. So begin with this lower embracing the tree position. Your hands are spiraling slightly towards you. And you feel as if you're ready for some transformation in your life. And we're gonna use the earth energy to help us transform and take skillful action. It's called pulling up the earth. So sinking down from your pelvis, keeping the torso fairly upright. I'm gonna scoop up some earth, spiral the hands, towards the earth and scoop up this composted energy from the previous seasons. Draw healthy energy up and open out to the side. Let's do that. Repeat this flow, sink down. Swirl the hands, gather earth energy, draw it up, draw it up. This earth energy mixes with the energy of the heavens, as if we're drawing ourselves upwards towards the light in spring. Oh, you see the beauty. Down. Gather. Raise up. Heels stay down here. We open up. Oh. That's photosynthesis, right? <laughs> down. Discern what you will pick up from the compost, what you will let go. Bring it in to nourish your being, your well-being. Open. <sighs> Close your eyes if that feels comfortable to you. And feel this energetic presence around, underneath, above you. Offering you healing. Offering you stability of mind, emotions. So that your emotions can be used. They can serve a purpose. All of them. It's information. Your emotions are energy in motion. How you use them is completely up to you. One more, sink down. Oh, draw up. Heaven energy, light, beauty. Bring it all into the belly. Seal this. Seal this seedling of well-being. Your own. Right here. Oh. Deep breath. I 
can't help it guys. I got a big smile on my face. I've got a lot of fire, joyful energy in me. And a practice like this just helped me purify that a little bit more. And I'm curious to know what you thought of today's practice. Please comment below. Your comments mean a lot to me and I will respond to them. And if you have a special request for a practice or an emotion that you are skillfully trying to transform, let me know. Be well.